Hey everybody, this is Kenny. It's been uh, or KVSMC. It's been a while, but our power's out. Well, grid power is anyway. But you see, I got my old trusty solar lantern uh, with the with the hand crank. Oh, sorry about that, y'all. With the hand crank on it, so this thing gets dim. But it's about. I'm gonna see here. It's about four. 4.30 in the afternoon, and, uh, I'm so sorry about that, 4.30 in the afternoon, you can see old trusty Casio G-Shock solar watch, 4.30 in the afternoon, and the lights are out, but check this out, this is, it. we're in the shop here, the uh, pole barn I had built, and uh, that's the reason why I've got most of everything off grid, but see the refrigerator right now, the freezer aren't working, but I put this solar backup uh, right here. Solar backup, solar and wind backup power. So all I'll do is take this cord right here. And cross my fingers. I did all my homework. I think I don't want to go in there. There you go, new plug. All right. Well. Voila. <laughs> All the circuits in the house are going to. All my, everything on tan cold. That's probably burning some juice. Alright, I'm gonna turn the solar light out. Might need that later on. Uh but that's the reason why I installed the uh that um backup power plug in case we lost power for long periods of time. I hadn't even called a power company yet because I'm having so much fun being without electricity. Well, you know, <laughs> in a sense. But the conditions aren't too good out here today. It's cloudy and rainy and old nor'easter. Looks like I get the refrigerator and everything and light in the house going on right now. Plus, I got the off-grid uh the oven or or the grill. Use the grill. Well, the oven is not totally off grid because you got to use a little electric power, <laughs> a little bit, I mean, about 500 watts. But uh, anyway, let's show us power draw. We're drawing a deep freeze, two refrigerators, and all that stuff. But uh, we're bringing in 626 watts from solar. And you see the conditions outside. And I mean, right now we're we're burning 300 watts. Um, and the battery voltage is at 25.6 volts, which is pretty good. It could be better, but it's good. We got some loads on there. We're only drawing in, let's see, 620 watts, so we're burning 300 watts power so anyway and it says right here usually when I'm the grid is up that AC input would be on what powers out so it might be a long video session this evening but I'm happy we're making power and as you can see the grid uh, from making power to the grid is not coming on so we got our battery banks topped off we're at 25.5 volts, and I'll show you what's going on. And the battery's at 78 degrees. Uh, this little bad boy is charging good. The Midnight Solar Kit. We're drawing, uh, we're drawing 32 watts. All right. Okay. Sorry about that. It's blurry. Better bring 32 watts. It's, like I say, it's cloudy as heck outside. Alright. Uh, we're bringing in 270 watts of wind right now. We're floating. 275 watts. That's a 1610, 1610 watt array at 24 volts. This is the 48 
volt array at 840, well, she got 840 watts. So we're off the grid. All right. Well, we're going to take it to the house and see what's running. Oh, check check this out. Listen real close. If y'all can, can hear in the background. Uh, that is one of them Generac core power, like 6,000 watt deals. That thing is running over my neighbor's house. And I think one of my other neighbors has one. And it costs them roughly around, I don't know, I mean, it's good. It's good. They're nice generators. It costs them around, uh, I'd say it was eight grand. Not, probably not including the, the propane tanks neither. But that thing is sucking about, I'd say anywhere from two gallons per hour. So you figure, figure out the price on that. So yeah, I'm just rough estimate, maybe a gallon per hour. Uh, something like that. I'm not sure how much they burn, but the burn rate's pretty high when you got a lot of loads. All right. Anyway, I, just, I like, uh, well, you know, solar, you get what you invest in, like your, your batteries. Yeah, they're expensive, but they're a lot cheaper than uh, some things. But I uh, hope, hope the sun comes out. That would be even nice. But tonight, if we don't have uh, electricity, we still got hot water. That's propane, but that will run, that will run 17 hours on a 20-pound bottle of propane. I hope I'm saying that right. The same, the kind you use for your, the little tanks like you use for your grill and stuff like that. I think it's 20 pounds. Like, yeah, right. 17 hours, so we're good for hot water. And so it should be like in the 60s this evening, so it won't be a problem being too hot. But anyway, I'll show you what we've got running. Refrigerator's on. I'll show you that. Yeah, we got cold food. That is my main priority, to keeping the food cold. All right. The food is cold. We can run the microwave. Need to be. Shut that off. Right, we got the microwave if we need it. We got lights. Alright. And we got, I say we got two deep freeze, one deep freeze running right now. I don't have, I didn't plug the other one up yet. But right now, we are burning, uh, like I said out in the shop, we are burning about three to four hundred watts. All right, sorry about the clarity here, y'all. And that's the main thing, it's getting food cold. And like I said, we got lights, cut them off. Got that little 40 watt light bulb going on there. And we got LEDs, woohoo. Oh yeah, I won't get too crazy here. Let me turn this old, uh, LED TV on. Let's see what we got. Alright, here's channel 23. That's a PBS station. Um, turn the light on there, y'all. Let's see how much that LED TV draws. We're sitting about 600 watts right now. 300 watts is what that thing will burn, burns. All right. Okay. Well, let's turn this light out. And we'll turn this out too. Conserve battery power. Because I don't have these monster battery banks like a lot of people. I only have six, six 90 amp hour AGM batteries. Turn that light out. Um, anyway, I just want to give you a little quick uh, quick update. What solar power will give you. And I could run all my loads in the house. Uh, you know, of course, not all at one time. But like ceiling fans. To, to distribute the, the air around in the house. Okay, that's on medium. 
a Smith's power that generates. And there's got them incandescent bulbs on there. Huh, that's a lot of power. That's about. Uh, I'm gonna say about 300, about 200 watts. I think it burns. No, about close to 500. <laughs> about 300. About 300 watts is what a uh, 300 watts is what a ceiling pan will burn. But then again, those are 150 watts worth of light bulbs in there, which I need to switch some bad boys out. They're my energy hogs. One, two, three. But yeah, there's energy hogs there. All right, cut that off. So anyway, let's go there and check the battery voltage now. I gotta call it Virginia Power here in a minute. <laughs> Dominion Virginia Power, power company. All right, we'll head out to the shop. Okay, folks, how y'all doing? It's 5.30 now. The power has been out for over about an hour and a half, I say. But anyway, we're drawing about, I don't know if you can see that or not. We're drawing about 700 watts of power. And I got two refrigerators, two deep freezers running, lights. TV, lights in here. My neighbors even. <laughs> I love this look. My wife's, wife's in there watching uh, on a computer. And my little girl's watching TV. So yeah, we're in good shape. We're in good shape. We're only burning 700 watts. I had ceiling fans going. The LED lights are rolling. Fluorescent lights going. And look, I don't know how much juice these things burn. But my neighbor, her, their power grid, I knew, they know we always have power, solar power, or something you know, going on over here, and you know, solar power, renewable energy. But she brought, brought her all, her dinner over here, said, I know Kenny's got power, so, or KVSMC, or well, Kenny's my name. But she bought a crock pot over, because she knew we had power. <laughs> but anyway, here's the, I mean, here's the powers out, I mean, for the, you know, the stove, the oven. Um, I don't have that sucker room, but I do, I want to cook on a gas top. I got lights there, and I still got my vent where we can cook on top of the stove, and we can griddle too. You know, uh, no big deal. Or I can use my off-grid stove out in the shop, but just hook it to my backup solar power. I got 500 watts because that has like a little heater, uh, heating coil up inside that draws about 500 watts to uh, even to operate the oven. It's not totally off-grid oven. But anyway, but let's go. I'm gonna go ahead here and show you what we got going on uh, with the power, little power outage. I think it's fun. Well, it's it's good. It's I can see what my system's doing. I can I can check everything out. So if a major storm comes by or something like that, well, it wasn't even a storm there. The power company is doing some work, and the uh, the um, evidently uh, uh, the part the part that we put in ain't it's not working <laughs> but the sun is starting to come out now but it was raining here a minute ago I'll get some, I'll get some blue skies that's, that's good that's good to know less gas that generator will burn but the reason why I got my generator running now because it was raining right after uh, my last little segment of this video um, it started raining you know when you know you know uh, battery pack capacity only lasts you so long when you don't have enough charging it up just depends on the side of your battery bank. But here's the Honda. It's drawing about 700 watts right now. You see all the stuff that's in there. It's running. And it's quiet as a kid. And that's on, uh, that's on eco mode. Right here. Eco throttle, I mean. Eco throttle. But it's got a load on it. Uh, I'll show you how much load it has on it. That's how loud it is. 
And the farther away we get away from it, you won't even be able to hear it. But it's, it's good. A little power out is you'll see what your system will do on grid slash off grid. Our grid type battery backup. As you see, we have no lights in here. I could change that around real quick. But uh, battery voltage is at 27 volts. And. Okay. Let me get off of there. We're bringing in uh, about 100 watts of solar right now. Um, and we're drawing 800 watts. Um, that's how much we're drawing. And see the load at the bottom. The house is drawing 800 watts. All the appliances, and we're making 100 watts of solar. Oh. And the power just came back on. Check that out. I don't know how long we'll be on, but y'all saw it. <laughs> well, time to go turn the generator off. But you see, I got all my loads. Uh, let me see here. All the loads are, I'm gonna show you something quick before I turn my generator and everything off. Uh, but the generator needed to run anyway. Well, right now, I'm running my deep freeze. My deep freeze right now on my uh, small off-grid system. That, that deep freeze right here. Let me turn some lights on. But yeah, so I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, I'm um, got a plug the the cord plugged in right here, and as you see, it's going over to my inverter, which is running the deep freeze right now. And we're at 12. Point, this is a 12 volt system. We're at 12.5 volts on that. So anyway. But I just want to give you a little update, y'all, on what's going on. And I want to say thanks for watching uh, my, vid my videos. Oh, it's dark in here. Anyway, thank you a lot. A little power outage we did. I just want to, it's good we had it. T test all your, all your equipment out, see how everything's running. Okay, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all take it easy. All right. Uh, please subscribe and God bless and simplify. Amen. Bye-bye.